What's going on guys, it is Andrew here, and welcome back to another episode of The Forest. Now today, we're going to finish off the Q&A that we've been doing for the last two episodes. We're going to read about what The Forest devs and Night Games have to say about what's coming in the next update. And we're just going to continue on. We're going to keep on keeping on, basically building our up our base and uh, living, living the life inside the world, guys. So, in the last episode, we covered a lot of topics that... Uh, that were covered in this Q&A, uh, a lot of them being about, you know, the new mountains that are coming, the new, well, the new mountain area, the new islands, uh, just various stuff like that. And in today's episode, I left this one for this episode specifically because everyone has been talking about the sinkhole, the sinkhole that came in the last update. Just this giant freaking hole in the earth and nobody knew what it was or why it was there. And oh my God, lizard, lizard, please. Oh god, that was right in his head. I feel like a jerk for doing that. I apologize. Alright, uh, we can actually... Okay, let's not lose this tree. Let's just finish cutting it up down. I have this like bad habit of starting to cut down trees and then leaving and then kind of forgetting which tree I was even cutting down in the first place. And let's also... I want to make a log sled because we're going to need one. Alrighty then. So, as I was saying, sorry, there was this just... The giant sinkhole, and obviously, as you guys know, um, I am one for speculation. I love just like speculating about you know what's coming in this game, what updates mean, what could they could mean for the future. Um, and I was just having a heyday with the sinkhole and and the doors. The doors in the caves were awesome as well. But the sinkhole was really interesting to me because it was just this massive new addition that kind of came out of nowhere, and nobody really knew what it was about. There it is. And, you know, when I was asking you guys, what do you guys think it could be? What do you guys think it is? A lot of people were, like, contributing to some pretty awesome theories about what it could be. And a lot of people were also like, dude, it's just a sinkhole. Like, Google sinkhole. They're everywhere on Earth, on our Earth right now. It's not this, like, it's not you know, this crazy special thing that you think it is. It's just a sinkhole. Now, if I'm going to get to the Q&A here... And let me, I'm going to gloat about this a little bit. The question is, can you explain the new sinkhole? Is it simply scenery or is it something more? And the answer from End Night Games is, it's lots more. We don't want to spoil it, but more will be revealed in the next update. So there we go, naysayers. It is not just a sinkhole. It is a significant piece of of something, of something some type of story piece so let the freaking let the theories begin again in the comments guys what the heck do you think this sinkhole could be now you guys know that from last season and even a little bit in this season i have been reading your comments on a video but since the last couple of videos i've been kind of reading the q a i'll get back to your comments again in the next episode so i want you guys to now that we know the sinkhole isn't just a sinkhole it's also you know, a story piece. It's also going to be a big part of this game. What the heck do you think it could be? I mean, I'm still reverting back to the whole, I think it's just a, um, like a, I think it's a man-made hole, especially since it's like so perfectly done, so perfectly round and goes completely straight down. I think it's man-made, some type of scientist-based thing. I'm not sure yet, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to get too much into that in this video only because, that will be for the next video when you guys respond about what you think it is, because it's a, uh, it's it's definitely an interesting thing. This it's just a, a freaking giant hole in the middle of the world, and nobody really knows what what it's about. So it they did say that only slightly more will be be revealed the next update. So we won't we probably won't fully know what it is, but at least maybe we'll get a little bit of a better idea, a little bit something just just to give us a little bit of a. Of a topic, a little bit more speculation to go off of, and that's exciting. Um, let me just fill up here. So I know I said I was going to do this bridge off camera, but I figured since we're going to do a lot of rambling in this video, might as well do it on camera. And um, I still will do building off camera. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to do everything on camera because that's that would be redonkulously long. But I'm going to do a little bit on camera because why not? Building is the is the is the nicest thing to do when when you're rambling and talking. It's just 
It's very relaxing. It's very zen. All right, so the next question is, will we be seeing a destroy or deconstruct option for player-built structures? Uh, and the answer is yes. This has been on the list for a while and should be coming soon. That's just um, you know, a basic necessity. It's not really anything crazy. I mean, I didn't expect them to give away anything crazy in a Q&A anyways. I figured that they would leave most of that for you know, for the actual update itself or else then they'd be kind of ruining it. But yeah, I mean, it's a good thing to see. Um, the uh, the player built structures in this game have come a very very long way. So if you guys remember when this game was very very first released, your options were the shelters. So your options were these two shelters uh, and the log cabin. But the log cabin didn't work when the game it was like it like floated and stuff. It was really weird. And and I believe, where are the walls? I can't really see, there we go. And you had a basic wall and a defensive wall. That's it, I don't even think a wall with, I'm not actually, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think wall with door was added in the very, very first alpha release. So to think that they've come from that to, you know, wall with door, wall with window, and then stairs I believe were in, but then tree platform, tree bridge, platforms, Defensive spikes, wooden targets, all these custom foundations, walls, roofs. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, roofs, um, floors. To you know, wooden bench was pretty early as well. But then you know, all these nice little house things that they added. The building, especially the home building, has come a very, very long way. Um, but one of the things that it's always lacked was the ability to deconstruct things if you didn't like them i mean you spent a lot of time building it now it's just there it's just this thing that's there and if you want to get rid of it you really didn't have that option so it's good to know that they're going to be adding it um you, you know you might not think of things like that often but i hear someone you might not think of things like that often but you know sometimes little things like that can be a big difference all right so we got a few foes here a few fifi foe fun Get off of that. Oh, God. <laughs> you bastard. What are you doing? Alright. Alright. There we go. We got him. Alright. We don't have a bow. I wish I... I really, at this moment, I wish I did. Because we have feathers, too. Just... Fling! Boom! Oh, God! Oh yeah, you wanna you wanna be in that tree? Yeah, that's what I thought. I actually missed that. It's been a while since I've seen them jump tree to tree. I used to think that that was one of the, the coolest things ever when this game first came out. Just watching the cannibals kind of like st stalk you at night, jumping from tree to tree, doing their creepy things that they do. I really hope the game eventually gets back to that that level of whoa, of like uncertainty, and uh, it. It was a great thriller slash horror experience that I think is lost every now and then, just mainly due to the fact that I play it so often. So I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and, and harp on the game. I do play it a lot, so obviously things things don't, you know, if you watch The Exorcist one time, it might be the scariest movie. If you watch The Exorcist a hundred times, maybe it wouldn't be so scary anymore. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say. Uh oh. Stop eating your friends, you savage. <laughs> the easiest kill around. Where's the other one? Where did he go? Huh. Alright. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's running. <laughs> he's like, you set my friend on fire, you savage! <laughs> I am out of here, I'm telling my friends and family and everyone else who's going to come try and attempt to murder me speaking of that i should use a bonfire more often last season i tried using the bonfire if you guys remember but it didn't work i think they fixed that so anytime i feel like getting into a good fight you like you like, you know you like that bonfire up I, oh god oh god i yeah you wait till i have no stamina huh you're a coward you're a coward and a cheat quick get inside uh, eat there we go yeah now watch, now you're gonna run away because I can fight you, huh? Is that what you're gonna do? Stand toe to toe. Here. 
Is he is he alive still? He is. Okay, wait. Let's see if he stands up right into this fire. This would be too good. Get up! Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Hey, pretty boy. I kind of felt bad for him there for a second. He was like wheezing. I didn't want to put him out of his misery. Okay, so the other one's eating his friend again. So I, there we go. I should be able to just get the easy kill here. <laughs> oh lord, these cannibals are too much for me sometimes. All right, let's continue chopping down and continue reading the Q and A. Now that we dealt with that little threat. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> will other cannibals with certain roles or tactics be introduced in the near future? So I guess what they're kind of asking is if you guys, you know, Dwight with a light, he has his light. He's kind of like the, uh, front man. He's the one that kind of is the, the eyes of the operation. Uh, you know, there's different cannibals that have different roles. And I guess this guy's asking if there's going to be more of those, more cannibals <clears throat> who do different things. And the answer is Yes. And we will also be improving on the current tactics, especially of the distorted cannibals. So, one thing that this game does really well, like very, very well, is its AI. Now, sometimes it does dirt, but, you know, for example, we just saw two minutes ago it jumping from tree to tree. You know, we it's stalking tactics and, and some of the... There's some really, really, really cool things this game does. And, of course, when you play it as long as, as I have or... You know, as long as you may have, or even if you've been watching these videos for a very long time. Thank you, by the way. I love you. But um, sometimes it's easy to see the bugs, and, and you kind of get used to the good. And I see someone down there in the distance. You see him? By that tree right there? Like, right where the tip of my axe is right now, in the bottom corner. There's a guy right there. Let's see if he... Yep, there's another one there, too. So there's two of them. Damn, there's been a lot of cannibals. Okay. I actually kind of even forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. When you play so much, it's easy to kind of get used to the things that are so amazing. And, hey, it's Dwight with a light. I was just talking about you, bro. What's up? Long time no see. How's it going, man? Yeah, you've been busy. I bet, huh? Lots of people to murder and stuff. No, I understand. You got a family. Yeah. Man, you should just come out more often. <laughs> just come hang out with the guys, you know? Uh-oh, here we go. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. I don't have any damn it. Oh, hey, when did I get this? I can go complete my little uh explosives. I don't even remember when I got that. What the hell? It says I need one, and I have one right here. I have a circuit board. It's literally in my backpack. And now it's not letting me... Aw... That's weird. All right. Anyways, as I was saying for like the third time, it's easy to it's easy to not see the amazing things when you get used to them. But I remember the first time I ever showed my cousin this game and he played it, he was just like, "Wow, the AI is absolutely amazing." And it was just something that I kind of forgot about because we've been playing for so long and it's been an amazing it's been amazing for so long. But so it's amazing to see that they want to improve on it and add in more cannibals and stuff. That's always cool. As we know that the the last update actually did add whoa. Not the last update, the last update was like bugs and stuff, but the last up content update they added those new distorted cannibals. So it's cool to see that they're uh you know, they're not done with that idea. Let's get ourselves some more health before we die. Okay, dokey. So we got one guy there, one guy there. Is there anyone else? No. All right, let's work on Dwight first. Dwight is dead. All right, where's the other guy? There he is. All right. That was a fail. When he falls, I'm going to try that new jump attack. There we go. Look at that. Ha ha. Bingo, bango, bongo. All right, where did all those... I'm pretty sure I just cut a tree down. Maybe I'm losing my mind here. Anyways. 
Um, what kind of custom buildings can we expect in the next few patches? And the answer is, we really want to bring the whole custom building system together. Stairs are one obvious one that's been missing, but there's also the general polishing, the ease of use, and improvements to the system. We probably shouldn't mention it in case it doesn't work out, but along with fixing the broken raft and boathouse, we also want to allow custom buildings of floatable items. We think that that would be really cool. So, wow, there's a few points to, to touch on here. Of course, um, of course, it's really awesome that they want to add... Okay, if they didn't... Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm under the map right now. That's always good. Go ahead and get down. Thank you very much. If they didn't say they want to fix the raft, and then they said they wanted to add custom floaties, I would have said, first, before adding custom floatable houses and stuff, please fix the raft. But they did mention that, so that's good. They do want to fix that, and they realize that it's broken, so that's that's awesome. Uh, the fact that they want to add more to the custom buildings, of course, is good. The fact that they said they want to add stairs, which I'm assuming will be out in the next update or really soon, um, it is awesome because it means we'll be able to make multiple story bases with the custom building system. Uh, so that's awesome. But the custom floatables is, is really cool because, obviously, as I mentioned, that the next update is going to have... It's really dark, guys, and I'm going to try and skip it to daytime here in a second so don't worry but the next update is going to have a new a new island that you'll be able to float to so custom floatables would be really cool if you could make your own um if you could make like your own boat and float out you could be like noah with his noah's ark oh god there's someone around me and it won't let me skip oh there he is Okay, there's two there. I don't have any bombs or anything. Wait, maybe... The, wait, did I make a bomb rack? I did not make a bomb rack. I was hoping I had a bomb rack, but I don't. We're going to have to take that with us just in case. All right. Um, well, let's go and try and take care of these guys, even though it's super duper dark. Hopefully, before they attack, we can light some of these off. Give us a little bit of an advantage. Do, do, do. And really quickly, I'll read the last one off too. It says, can we expect to see more additions to the combat similar to the downward start strike and uh, charge swing? That's the charge swing, by the way, right there. I don't really use it because I kind of forget. But, you know, maybe we'll take a look at it right now. Charge swing. Um, and they said, yes, they expand, uh, plan on expanding on the player moveset further, giving players more options in melee combat. Uh, more shove attacks are pretty likely. Uh, currently, if you equip the turtle shell, you can use it as a shove attack. We want to focus on giving each player weapon some type of unique attack and abilities. So there you go, guys. There is your answer to that. Where did they go? Did they just disappear? All right. Well, I'll keep cutting until they come back. <laughs> And hopefully we'll be able to just finish off the bridge here because it's actually pretty close to being done. Yeah, eight logs. Do doop. One more tree and we are done. So, so that you know, once again, is just another nice little positive thing. They want to add more, more attacks, more variety, make it more realistic. You know. I'd like to see more just in general animations, like more different ways to do things that I think I just saw someone. Yep, I did. There they are. Oh, they're eating their friend. No surprise. Hey, guys. Uh oh, pissed them both off. Oh, there's Dwight. Hey. All right. Charge, 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 charge. Ooh, you got to really time that one, huh? Charge, charge, charge. Ooh, God. Okay, there's like five of them. I hit that guy pretty good. Oh, Beth! Ah! Beth! No! She would, guys. She would. <laughs> Alright, guys. And with this drag animation back to the caves, 
which was an, an another amazing addition to this game. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you please smash that like button. It really, really helps. Comment in the comment section below of about anything that I said in this video. Um, thank you guys so much for everything. I love your faces. Really, it means a lot to me to have you guys watching these videos, liking, commenting, and showing them to your friends and stuff. It seriously means the world to me. Whoa. You guys are amazing. I love your faces. Bye-bye.